All right, guys, what's going on? Weekend is finally here. We are heading back up to Jack's cabin, and hopefully my video is a little better this time than last year when I was using my cell phone. But heading up to Jack's cabin this weekend. Carl's in front of me. Uh, today is October 14th. Yeah, October 14th, Thursday. Taking the day off tomorrow and then hunting Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it should be a lot of fun. The weather's finally going to drop and it's gonna start to actually feel like fall. So this weekend's looking looking great in terms of conditions to hunt. Just like last year, Jack has some really, really good bucks on camera this year. So it seems like these, you know, these APRs and everything are really making a difference. And uh, I think I think Jack has seen more bucks on camera this year than in recent years for sure. So but anyways, we're, we're excited. There's just something special about hunting in Northern Michigan. So I, I always look forward to this weekend. I think this is our third year kind of doing it. So we're, we're thankful for Jack to have us up there and ready to hit it hard. So see what happens. So this is Lambo. Okay. He shot on quite a few cameras right now. That's Tupac. <laughs> Lambo again. Tupac again. And then this is Ace. He's <laughs> <laughs> just down in it. That's my spot. That's great. <laughs> That's the first daylight photo. Seven days. Okay. Yeah. Do you need shooting this bike? Yeah. <laughs>
just had some toes come in into the block. I didn't get it on film because I didn't see them until they blew at the decoy, three does, and then they ran off. So I did a really quick follow-up grunt in the uh, rattle sequence, and I look, and there's a, there was a small buck near the scrape that's on the ground over here. So the one, this one's Buck, this one's Kyle. Kyle, oh, okay. I found, no problem. I what do the colorblind guys say? <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> so how far did you follow blood? 10 years. I, I got it all set up in the dark, and I was like super pumped with my lanes because everything kind of like worked out super well in there. And then I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, right before light, I hear behind me. I'm like, oh, there's gotta be some turkeys up here. So maybe like, 75 yards away, there's some turkeys there, and I was like, I know they're gonna come down at some point, but they're behind me, and yeah, I'm yeah. like, I know they're gonna come down, like, when are they gonna come down, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and they landed probably like 25 yards away from the stand and were feeding there, and then I was looking at them behind me like this, and they kind of were feeding up on the ridge, um, and about to go over when because you're facing the tree in the saddle, all of a sudden that coyote just emerged like right out of the trunk. Whoa, and I was like, oh snap, like, okay. So he was, the first time I saw him, he was at five peaks. He came with the tree blocking me the whole time. I just grabbed my bow and pulled back to full draw and then had to sit down a little bit to get underneath the maple and just mer and he turned right away and looked him in the bowl and he ran probably like 50 yards and um, piled up, but he didn't have any blood. Tire, tire way, no blood show. The one I shot in Missouri had almost no blood. Mm -hmm. Remember what I texted you? What? Afterwards? <laughs> Today? Yeah. Last time I shot a cow, I shot a 140. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you texted him that this morning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next? He's like, nice shot. And I'm like, last time I shot a cow, I shot a 140 right after it. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go track it when we go hunt tonight, you're saying? I think I'm gonna go in at two and just see what it looks like doing in like four or five hours. Cause it was raining and I yeah. just really wanted to keep my head over and see what he's just laying right there. But then I talked myself out of it. I said if he's dead now, he'd be dead at two o'clock. Yeah.
a little nervous. I was like, either he's busting out of here or he's dead in here. But I love the fact that he was coming in here to crash, but we didn't see him right away. When you get him in the stick stuff, oh, oh my gosh, cow. dude. My shot wasn't as bad as I thought. No, no, dude. He's one of the gravel pit bucks, too. Jack, that's a freaking awesome dude. Oh, that's a beautiful 8.0 on the DRCA. I think possibly my biggest bow buck up here. Just broom right off. Yeah, wow. You think they probably went to <laughs> <laughs> or, or here? I think I had pictures of them. They were dropping. Like, they were like, that's, I actually used to call them grapple. Because he would hold like that. He doesn't look like he bedded down at all. It just looks like he fell right here. He crashed for sure. Dude. Thanks for being here, man. Dude, <laughs> thanks for having us. This is freaking, couldn't be happier for you, man. Uh -huh.